quick Korean Peninsula update. After three days of negotiations, neither the DPRK nor the Republic of Korea are prepared to make any concessions to either side. As a result of the ongoing situation, up to one million people are reportedly being called up in reserves for the DPRK, preparing to be deployed forward. North Korean media is reporting that record numbers of young people are lining up to volunteer for either regular military service or as a part of the worker peasant Red Guard. No exact numbers are known at this time. Also, the media is reporting that North Korea has positioned its artillery inside the DMZ and are preparing to fire upon the south. There's no absolute confirmation of this information at this time, but it's believed that this is probably very true. Uh, meanwhile, as this is going on, the south is starting to suffer an economic consequence for the situation. Earlier today, the, North, the, the South Korean media reported that the won, the, the country's dollar, has hit a four-year low in comparison to the U.S. dollar because of the ongoing hostilities, uh, fluctuations in the market as a result of them, etc. It's also showing that the stock exchange inside the South has also uh, opened much lower than expected, and there has been U.S. losses. Stay tuned to this channel for more updates on the ongoing crisis in the peninsula.